Good morning and warm, warm welcome to this webcast. My name is Riikka Laine-Tolonen. I am CEO of uh, S-Bank. And together with me here in the studio is Mika Heikkila, our CFO. And we have a pleasure to introduce to you our results from last year. And we will also touch upon our uh, next uh, steps on our journey and talk about a little about our strategy. Our results from last year were record high and interest in our services was, was strong. Our operating profit tripled compared to the previous year and amounted to 147.4 million euros. The main reasons behind this record results were the increase in interest rates uh, and of course, in addition to that, our customer base continued to grow and our customers used our services more actively. We also saw, saw positive net fee income and commission income development. Total income increased by 67.4 percentage to 371.3 million euros, which was approximately 150 million euros more than last year. The growth in income led to improved cost income ratio, which was 51 basis points and return on equity was 20.1 percentage. Also, our capital position strengthened and capital adequacy ratio was 18.8 percentage in 2023. The interest uh, in S-Bank services was also reflected in the growth rate of loans and deposits. Uh, and uh, we also saw positive development in AUM. The board of S-Bank, uh, the board of directors of S-Bank proposes dividend of 1.50 euros per share. And as we are a uh, fully finished bank owned by s -Group, the dividend we pay also at the end of the day benefits cooperative members of local cooperatives. During 2023, the active customer number grew with 68,000 customers. And this means that we are on a good track considering our strategic goal to reach 1 million active customers. But it also shows to me that customers more and more often consider us as a uh, full service bank. I want to thank our customers, employees, owners and investors for this very successful year. And I'm really proud of the continued growth, which combined with solid financial position gives us a very strong basis for the next chapter of S-Bank and, and, and new strategy period. A couple of comments. Uh, so uh, although the uh, general level of interest rates has started to decline, we can still see that Finns lack confidence on their own finances and, and Finnish economy. So we don't expect any tailwind. Uh, we expect that uh, Finland's economic growth will remain modest. However, the outlook is expected to recover slightly towards the end, year, uh, end of the year. The rising salaries most likely will gradually start to support families and, and domestic demand, but, but there is still many uncertainties. Um, as mentioned, consumer confidence is, is low and also the savings rate is rising as consumers still prepare for tougher times and, and build their buffers. In, in the housing market, intentions to buy are at low. Our customers have shown resilience and even if we see some uh, growth in NPL ratio, the big picture is still healthy and stable. Mika will cover in his part more about our credit portfolio indicators. The other comment is related to Handelsbank and transaction and it is progressing as planned and I will touch upon this a bit more on the next slide. And as mentioned already, our services are increasingly popular and uh, we welcomed 68,000 new active customers last year. And this is also reflected in the growth rate of our loans and deposits, which clearly exceeded market growth. Some highlights from our two main business areas. Uh, so both of them showed very solid performance last year. In banking, we of course see growth by many measures and the operating profit of banking was of course record high due to the interest rate impact. 
But we also see increased customer activity. As an example, our customers use their S uh, Visa card more than a previous year, and the increase was 19 percentage, both in volumes, but also in number of transactions. Uh, also, our de de household deposits grew uh, with 5.4 percentage, and this is, of course, important us considering also our funding base. Wealth management also well done. Uh, as an example, we received new unit holders in the S-Bank funds. And also, uh, even if the net subscriptions declined, uh, that was positive development. As promised, a couple of uh, more words about Handels Banken transaction. And the main message here is that the transaction is progressing as planned and the plan to close the acquisition in the latter part of 2024 is unchanged. Shortly to repeat what is this about, so we announced in May 2023 that we will acquire Handels Banken's Finnish personal banking, wealth management and investment services business and we will after this uh, transaction become Ford Lutz's personal customer bank in the market. All in all, this news has been uh, perceived very well both by our employees, but also in Handels Banken. And of course, it was important that also Standard Poor's uh, noted, noted uh, this and, and, and they changed their um, outlook of ours from stable to positive in June 2023. We have received uh, approvals from uh, competition and consumer authorities and um, clear steps uh, of our financing plan were taken uh, last fall. Um, the transaction is being uh, financed through a share issue to our shareholders and debt financing from the market. And, an, and as a part of our bond uh, issue program, we issued 500 million uh, euro covered bond in September and 150 million bond in November. The latter was for embryo purposes. Both bonds have been uh, well received by investors and, and clearly oversubscribed. We have now worked already several months to prepare and the work is well in, in progress. And now we are um, uh, in, 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 in coming um, weeks starting customer communication. And of course that is done in, in collaboration with Handels Banken. And, and, and then we continue the work to prepare for the migration. And as mentioned, the expected time of migration is uh, H2, latter part of this year. No changes there. Already, I, I mentioned a couple of words about the environment and, 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 and uh, consumer confidence. Uh, here is the, uh, in, in short, our outlook for 2024. And our guidance is, is negatively affected by three factors. First of all, uh, uh, we are executing a large transaction and, and the development and integration costs related to Handels Banken transaction and also financing costs related to this transaction will have impact on our result. Additionally, we expect that the interest rates are settling to lower level than last year and that will have impact on our earnings. And of course, as, as mentioned, the outlook for 2024 is also subject to uncertainties regarding operating environment, economy, employment and real estate market. And all this uh, uh, leads to conclusion that we expect our operating profit for the whole year uh, declined by approximately a quarter compared to last year. We are well positioned in these circumstances. Uh, already I mentioned about the uh, uh, economy uh, a bit. However, of course, the uh, competition is, is, is tight and we also see more demanding uh, need and, and expectations from our customers. Uh, but we are very well positioned uh, and we have a very solid base to build on. First of all, we are uh, uniquely combining S Group services with, with our services, and we reach the large customer base very well digitally. Uh, 
We have, uh, as an example, we have 2.1 million mobile S mobile uploads and 1.3 million uh, unique users monthly. That is that is a good example of the reach. And then, of course, our uh, position profitability has improved uh, significantly, and and that gives us, us a strong starting point also going forward. Uh, we are also a uh, leading brand in, in fairness and sustainability, and our employee satisfaction is well above peer average. And as you can see, our growth track is, is excellent, and, and that gives also good foundation. And that is, of course, the starting point also for the uh, strategy update approved by our board of directors at the end of last year. This strategy uh, is, of course, built on top of the last, so it's not the revolution, it's more evolution. This strategy aims uh, that we can continue the profitable growth journey and, and we can really um, also deliver as a larger bank. And what that means, it is that we are uh, moving towards an even more customer focused and digital bank in general. Our purpose is unchanged, so we are offering better, uh, we are exist to offer better financial future for S Group cooperative members. And how we do that is that we want to offer superior ease and, and benefits. The strategic objectives, which you can see here, are partially most likely familiar. However, there are also some changes for this strategy period. First of all, the financial targets related to profitability. You can see that we, we are uh, aiming to deliver cost income ratio below 60 and return on equity above 10 percentage. Um, a change here is that the uh, expectations for return on equity are more ambitious than earlier. Other objectives, you can see that we are, uh, or as mentioned, we are on a good track, but we are still aiming for 1 million active customers. What is changed here is that now we have set the clear target that we want to reach that before end 2027. New elements uh, as objectives are that we are also aiming uh, to, in the future, reach more and more customers who would focus their needs, all banking needs with S-Bank. And therefore, there is a target set also for number of high value volume, sorry, high value customers. We have not set a clear target here yet. Uh, because we are working uh, uh, with the definition slightly, but the main reason is that we want to see what, what is the impact from, from the Handelsbanken uh, acquisition, and we will communicate, communicate the external target for next year later. Internally, we of course start working towards this target already today. And then uh, I want to highlight and that there are also two other strategic objectives and customer experience is, is uh, we are now setting target for, for that. That will be also a bit more defined and communicated a bit later, but there is a strong message about customer focused and, and, and aim to improve customer experience. And we also acknowledge that reputation and trust is extremely important and, and there is also a strategic objective set for that. Main elements, uh, in, as, in addition, of course, continue what we do, but, uh, but there will be some changes also in this strategy, and we have key, three key change areas. First of all, Handelsbanken integration, and that is, of course, in, in good progress, as already mentioned. This integration um, um, uh, pr program, what we have, will deliver the integration capabilities for customers and employees to join S-Bank. The second change area is that we are renewing our service model. And what do we mean with that is that we will define how we service our customers when we combine S-Banks and Handelsbank and strengths. And the core will be servicing customers more need-based and a holistic way, ways and integrating channels based on mobile. Uh, we will further develop our digital services based on customer needs and mobile will be, mobile will be 
the starting point here. I fully understand that uh, especially Handelsbank and customers and, and employees have high interest to understand that what does this service model mean and, and what is how, how we are aiming to utilize Handelsbank and strengths. The work is still in progress, how, but I, I still want to highlight uh, some elements of the plan. Of course, we aim all in all to make the transaction as frictionless as possible. And we know that the dedicated contact person, the relationship ma manager, plays utmost important role for the customers in Handelsbanken. We plan that this uh, relationship manager, uh, that they will continue after the closing. And the second element is, of course, what is very important question is that what do we do? How do we see the branch network from Handelsbanken? And we truly see that Handelsbanken branches complement our existing network and we don't, do not plan changes to the service network. Of course, we need to ask that if there is possible need for a practical rearrangement in those locations where we have, for instance, overlapping premises uh, and, and that we will, of course, touch upon. Uh, later. The third uh, key change area is improving scalability and, and this is of course very much about that we cannot expect that the interest rates, rate le rates will remain on this level and we also want to work with our scalability. This is very much improving processes, risk management, but also enhancing digital services and exploring new technologies. Time-wise, uh, these change areas we are working as, as we speak uh, heavily with Handelsbank and integration. We aim that the service model would be uh, in place to that, um, that far that when the integration happens, we are already uh, able to serve customers with the new service model first elements, but the work will continue and then improving scalability. There's of course a lot happening in the bank, bank but more uh, making this uh, a, a bigger uh, uh, project or um, a program that will happen to be defined a bit later. And then we have cross-organizational themes which are supporting uh, change areas, but of course are at most important as in, in, in all ways. A couple of words, because this is of course a change that we, uh, our objective is, is to, to uh, continue our uh, growth journey and in addition to that also increase focus on high value customers. You can see, as I mentioned, that we have set the target for active customers, uh, that we reached that before end 2027, 1 million active customers. However, we also now want to clearly communicate that we also want to grow with customers who are uh, using us actively and, and, and uh, concentrating their banking needs with us. And that we aim to, to achieve by increasing customer advisory, uh, renewing the service model as mentioned, and also uh, pro uh, provide those customers with higher needs with, with, with more services. We are also uh, planning to create new benefits linked to the customer volume. And as mentioned, specific target will be set after Handelsbank and transaction is closed. Um, I have now uh, introduced you the results and, and, and our uh, guidance and our strategy. And um, all questions are welcomed after uh, Mika's part. And so I will now give you over to Mika, please. Thank you. So I will continue with uh, more details with, with our, our performance and first from total income. So it increased to 371 million, uh, which is growth of 67%. Uh, our net interest income more than doubled on, on previous year and was 274 million. And actually from the beginning of uh, 20, uh, 2022, in every quarter, our net in interest income has increased. So you can see on the left hand side that it was in, in Q4, it was 80 million. Uh, our operating profit was is, uh, 147 million, which is the all time high. Uh, also, we can say that uh, our total cost increased almost 16 percent. 
and we also made several uh, extra ESIL provisions based on management uh, judgments during the year. Uh, quarterly, uh, the Q4 result was 44 million, which was quite near to Q3 result, which was the peak in, in last year, this 46 million euros. Uh, about our income and cost analysis, uh, on the left hand side you can see the split there, but on the right hand side you can see that the share of the banking and, and also the net interest income uh, increased during the year because of the interest rates and in, yeah, in an increase in the net interest income. Also on the right hand side uh, down, you can see that the total income to total assets, it was very strong growth also in, in 2023. So the ratio was 3.9% uh, during the year. Uh, we have still very strong deposit base. Also, we our growth was totally 3.2% 3, 3 during the year. So totally the total uh, deposit base uh, was uh, 8.2 billion at the end of the year. Uh, especially the household customers, which uh, grew by 5.4 percent, it was uh, 7.5. Uh, billion at the end of the year and the corporate customers uh, around 700 million. At the end of the uh, last year, the total time deposit, deposits were around 600 million euros. Uh, our loan book and lending was totally uh, uh, 6.9 billion at the end of the year. Uh, both household customers and corporate customers grew and the total or average growth was 3.6%. Uh, so from the total uh, loan book, the household customers uh, are 5.7 billion. Also asset under management grew, and especially the fund capital grew by uh, almost 10% during the year. Uh, concerning the uh, credit quality, we can see that the repayment holidays are quite uh, stable. Uh, actually, there was a slight decrease during the financial year. So the share of the uh, loans, it was around 6.9% at the, at the end of the year. Then uh, our total uh, all final credit losses, expected and final credit losses, they were totally uh, 33 uh, million uh, last year. And the main increase comes from the ECL provision, around 15 million. As I said earlier, we made uh, several uh, extra provisions based on management judgment uh, at the end of the uh, or, or December. We uh, implemented a new LCD risk parameter force, which impact was around 5.3 million euros. Also earlier during the Q2, we, we uh, made updates to, to, to our forward looking information model, and that impact was also 2.6 million. Totally in the balance sheet, we, we have ESL provisions around uh, 37 million at the end of the year, uh, which included 3.8 million provision based on management judgment. Uh, Non-performing non loans ratio was 1.3% uh, uh, at the end of the last year, so there is, uh, there is increase during the year from 0.9%. From our balance sheet uh, reached it, uh, 10 billion euros level at the end of the year. And uh, the household and corporate deposits comprise around 81% of total liabilities and equity. And the lending to households uh, comprise 57% of total assets. Uh, during the year, we diversified our funding structure uh, by issuing uh, the first covered bond, 500 million covered bonds, 
and also uh, in November we issued a senior preferred embryo eligible bond uh, amount of 150 million. Uh, our own funds uh, were positively affected uh, by, by our uh, profit performance and uh, also the risk exposure amount was increased, but mainly due to the operational risk as the total gross income increased and, and its effect to the, how, how to calculate the operate, operational risk. Our embryo requirements and, and the buffers for that uh, are, are at, at good level and we are well above the regulatory requirements at the end of the year. Our capital position is strong. Uh, equity ratio was uh, a little bit up and it was 6.5% at the end of the year. And also the all key capital ratios uh, have maintained well above the regulatory requirements. Uh, Z1 ratio was 16.1% and uh, the total uh, adequacy, adequacy ratio was 18.8%. Uh, our liquidity and investment uh, portfolio, portfolio is totaling uh, 2.8 billion at the end of the year. We can see that the liquidity portfolio is, is around 90% of that, to totaling 2.5 billion. And from that, uh, cash in central bank is, is 2.1 billion. Uh, our liquidity portfolio is also very high high quality assets. Uh, there are totally 93% of the of, of the uh, portfolio portfolio is level one assets. Uh, net stable funding ratio was 164% uh, at the end of the year, and also uh, LCR was very strong to 257% at the at the end of the year. And then as a summary from our key figures, we can see that there is, we have had very strong growth in our operating profit. We have had very balanced growth in both in deposits and, and lending. And as still our loan to deposit ratio is 85%. We have substantial improvement in cost to income ratio. We have very strong growth in return on equity and return on assets and we have very robust capital base. Thank you, Mika. Thank you. And, and then um, I, I, I get signal that there are no questions. So, so uh, then we thank for your attention and, and, and wish you a uh, happy rest of the day and, and coming weekend. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>